The sequence of events that Secretary Blinken spelled out for this council last Thursday appear to be proceeding exactly as he predicted. Today, President Putin has torn the Minsk agreement to shreds. We have been clear that we do not believe he will stop at that. In light of President Putin's latest actions, we must all stand up for the principles upon which this organization was founded. He has since announced that he will place Russian troops in these regions. He calls them peacekeepers. This is nonsense. We know what they really are. In doing so, he has put before the world a choice. We must meet the moment and we must not look away. History tells us that looking the other way in the face of such hostility will be a far more costly path. In essence, Putin wants the world to travel back in time, to a time before the United Nations, to a time when empires rule the world. But the rest of the world has moved forward. It is not 1919. It is 2022. We and our partners have been clear that there will be a swift and severe response were Russia to further invade Ukraine. In this moment, no one can stand on the sidelines. We must make it clear that an attack on Ukraine is an attack on the sovereignty of every UN member state and the UN Charter, and that it will be met with swift and severe consequences. We continue to believe that the diplomatic table is the only place where responsible nations resolve their differences. That is the only place to preserve peace.